people are gonna get mad. You're gonna get cocky. Some dumb shit gonna happen. You either a future business or you're gonna do some shit to bring some bullshit to your life. Your baby mama, bitch. I wanna go. You bitch. This is my job. This is my home. You're gonna get cocky. Some dumb shit gonna happen. You either a future business or you're gonna do some shit to bring some bullshit to your life. Your baby mama, bitch. I wanna go you bitch this is my job this is my hustle this is the pro and con to being a celebrity yes you'll get special treatment but you just can't go 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 like a normal average mother self-control life gets kind of boring you have to fake like it's i don't even think that shit get kind of boring it's boring like you know you you know you have times where you might be mad at your partner, so you like, you know what? I'm about to go outside. I'm about to go outside and live my best life. And as a celebrity, you can't do that. You can't be like, you know what? F all y'all, I'm about to go outside. You can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> so I would hate that. <clears throat> That's why I always tell y'all I would bring the party to my house. I would. If I want a stripper's there for the night, I will. If I need NASCAR drivers there for the night, I will. If I need to make a Kentucky Derby in my backyard, I will. Overly exciting, <clears> but <throat> your life gets kind of boring because everything is on the schedule. Here, there, here, there. No matter if you want to smile or not, you smile. It looks good to the people. Oh, my God. He's red carpet. Oh, my God. Is this is work for you. It's entertainment for them. This is what it is. So if you take this joint suspension, you got to sit down. Ain't no moving. You go to the studio, you go eat, come back home. There's no hanging out. There's no nothing. He took the joint suspension as if, okay, I'm out of jail. And he kept moving as if nothing never happened. And he got his ass violated. That's it. <clears throat> I told him you ain't ready to sit down. But I bet you now he's going to be ready to sit down. Oh, yeah. Ain't, got no choice. ain't nothing like sitting up in the mother hole you like man I can't wait to get out now you hear yo they say you violated you gotta go to prison up Vegas oh the stress factor kicks in it's good for him he need this cause now he gonna hear old whack cause he said oh unk, you getting old mm-hmm, man you just, mm-hmm, you, just mm-hmm. know, you just getting old and shit unk. you ain't you know guy you know you just you like on some grandpa shit man some boring shit <laughs> i said hey they got some even more boring shit for you that you don't know nothing about just you hey whack that mo- get they that paper no- that to say that you got court or somewhere else that them know listen sitting in jail and then you already being cocky about how you gonna be home in a couple weeks and then your ass gotta go to prison after that Oh man, I would hate that shit. Oh, that like, goddamn, I'm about to go. That shit. You got me the more boring <laughs> shit that you don't know nothing about. Twenty-three and one. Right. That's what Yo, that, said. That suspended sentence is crazy. That I know stress a bunch factor, of though, just knowing cats. that you got another court case somewhere. Oh, else. when you get it, bro. bro hey, hey, bro, bro, yo, what? They got some shit I call the six-five six split. You heard what? Six-five split. A nigga go to jail and take six months. Get the, out the way, bro. Can't That's it. Hard. Right, but right. see. I, I, I'm gonna say this. I think it's a lot of cowards out there because it ain't a lot of people. And I'm glad I'm glad I is in here because it's not a lot of people that can do what I do, not give up about the masses and do their program. Whack whack let no whack whack no. Hey, can you know? Okay. Dog the hood no. Y'all the homies no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, he ain't this, so what? He Hollywood. He ain't that, so what? He ain't this, so what? Whack, you ain't gonna respond? Nope. And not until they cross that line and come in my space, they can say what the f- they want to say. I just got a wire for 400 wire for $2 million, contract for $20 million. Damn. Back to that. Those things are saying I'm everything that I know I want to be. Damn. I don't give a fuck with no <laughs> nigga from the streets of my neighborhood or no nigga that they say got a name because they told a bunch of Scooby-Doo stories to around the mother circle to a bunch of drunk-ass, high-ass, broke-ass niggas talking about 
this, this, that, and you ain't that, 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 this. Because your bitch is watching me every day, looking at you with disgust <laughs> as you talk about a nigga that's winning. Yeah, it takes a certain kind of nigga I doubt to it. be able to deal with I don't with think it. nobody will whack. <laughs> I don't think none of this women want to whack. No. <laughs> if you line up all my ops and add up what they worth, they might be worth 20000 that shit don't even pay my bills. Damn. Yeah, if you line them all up. All Damn, them his bills more than 20,000 a month, and I'm over here crying. Look at his hell. So what, what I, for real, so why would I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some of these niggas, envy and jealousy is so great. They don't mind going to prison just as long as it sends me to prison with them. So you nigga like that with success. That's how you piss them off. You just keep climbing and keep climbing and keep climbing. They say, I just spent all this time paying this nigga attention and he ain't paying me no attention and he's even further away from me than he was before. So, like I told him, he wouldn't have caught this violation. Now, if you stay out of Vegas, you know, you don't come to Vegas as long as I'm fighting this temper. <clears throat> I can beat it, but I need to eliminate the possibility you get into some more shit with these folks. Stay out of Vegas. And then this fool just go right back to Vegas. <laughs> Blue, I want to go to Vegas. Nah, Wax, I can't go. Is Wax your daddy? Wax is your daddy? What? Hold on. He was able, when I got him f***ed up and made him rich, was able to see you barefooted to put some shit on your name. But as a man, he's supposed to say, look, I wish my woman would challenge me like that. Right, my no is my no. Just whack your daddy, just whack your yeah, daddy. Yeah, because I don't understand why, I don't understand why whack blaming Krishan for that. This is, if my no is, if I said no, I meant no. <laughs> I mean, that's it. What do you mean? I want to go to Vegas. Just whack your daddy. What does he do? Especially right. if it stopped me from getting in trouble. Oh, shit. No, no, he's not. Goes to Vegas. What happens? I really believe in my heart this bitch lined him. I told him, don't never bring this to our court dates in California. And the whole time, she never was there. On the last date of sentencing, he showed up with the <laughs> Plays dumb. She plays stupid. But she ain't stupid. She pays attention. She sat in there and she heard all the stipulations. I never forget her saying. So if any you get into anything, you gotta you, you go to jail. Yeah, I can't do nothing. No, I can't do nothing. I can't even jaywalk. I can't do nothing. Oh, so they go to Vegas. Hmm. I'm gonna go get the audio, the tape, and put it up. <clears throat> Y'all need to see this shit. They're in the Palms lobby. A female fan says, "Hey, Rock, we love you. We love you." But Kim, Rock, pregnant and all, turns around and takes off on the bra. Out of here, Wax. Blue face turns around, <laughs> grabs the bra cell phone, and fear that she's recording some shit. Looks at it, see she's not, and gives the phone back. But when I wouldn't have never did that. <clears throat> First of all, I ain't going. I'm gonna just let you know right now. I ain't going. Whack your daddy. Mm -hmm. I guess so, because if that's gonna keep me out of trouble, then it is what it is. So. But I, at, on any given occasion, that's his fault for not standing his ground. I thought he was the man. I thought he was the pimp and all that. So whatever she says shouldn't have took you to Vegas. And you know you can't do nothing in Vegas. And you know she's a hothead. Come on, man. When they took the phone, they booked him for the robbery. Yeah. Valued over 800 But watch this. They never charged Rock with the... And it's 58 cameras in the muck casino that's looking at the assault. They never charge Rock with. Them. And she just is crazy because you have uh you have the same thing. If if anything were to she got her sentence before he did. So if you were to do something and you get caught, you was absolutely supposed to get in trouble. But she been getting away with everything too. So <clears throat> both of them, they just been thinking, man, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. I'm good. Please. 
Now both of y'all about to be in jail. What about Junior? Let's start the What About Junior campaign. That case violated California. The case in California, rewind. I told him, stop going to these clubs just to be going because your girlfriend or your homies want to go. Still, his baby mama. You don't never take me out. You don't never take me out. Instead of him saying, I got some bookings coming up. You can go in or we can go to dinner in Malibu or something, something, something. What do you mean? I want to go to this little bar club over here in North Hollywood. What does he do? Takes her to the bar club. Gets to the door. All his homies. Yeah, it's such and such to get in. How does turn? How does a date turn into thirty niggas with y'all? <laughs> I, I never understand that with niggas. What? He goes homies. Manager Wack ain't there. Cause you know what this nigga is? Security. We don't get what he is. This is what it costs to get in. Back and forth. Security get took off on. Boom. Blue face catches it. Go. <clears throat> the downfall of blue face and shit is a and he needs to understand that. Wait, what? To get in. Back and forth. Security get took off on. Boom. Blueface catches it. Go. The downfall of Blueface and shit is a... And he needs to understand that. The downfall of Blueface's ish is a B. Die. I mean, his security guard... I mean, his homeboys took off on the security guard. His downfall is being too nice in general and just not acting like the one he act like on these cameras. It sounds like he a simp off camera, and he do whatever anybody tell him to do. Follow the leader head ass. His decision making. God. So now, I got to take a four year <laughs> joint suspension. What I didn't want to, I want nigga take the year, get the year out the way. You be home four five months. No 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 no. I want to. Okay. In Vegas, non contractual dates. What are you doing there? As long as he was following my lead, you heard none of this out of Blueface. Think about it. When the little brawl started coming into his life, I gave it to him too fast. You hear all this shit. Nigga, you didn't hear from 2018 to 2020, you ain't hear no read with Blueface. Nothing. And at that time. You didn't hear nothing. He ain't lying. Every, after that, it was just like repeat after repeat after repeat. Same shit. Well, Crazy shit. Do you think there could have been something um, that you would have did differently with this situation at all? Or you could have done differently before all of this stuff had happened? I mean, how many times I got to tell you don't do it? He said, hold on. You are yeah, he said, hold oh. on. I don't, I mean, I, I, Wack did everything I, all right, man. So as y'all heard from that, Wax spoke about the joint suspension, explained why you shouldn't take it if you're not disciplined. And he feels that we got to stop using the age as a reason for making bad decisions. <laughs> and along with that, he also feels that the females around Blueface and his bad decision has been his biggest downfall. So, man, I want to get y'all thoughts and opinions on. Yeah, I want to know y'all thoughts as well. Um, <clears throat> both of them. I mean, this is Bobby and Whitney. OK, and we really about to witness the downfall of both of them if you ask me um Krishan got to go to court on the 27th if I am mistaken if it's not the 27th it's like the 20th of February and I don't know what her lawyer is looking like because every chance she gets she want to cuss out whack <clears throat> and I, I don't know I, I believe her step parents or godparents are lawyers I hope they are um but <clears throat> Child, if karma was a person, it's they person. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.